Hey, cool. hey guys, how are you? It's Bonnie. Hey, how are you? I'm hey, great. Hi, Hi, speaking to you from Toronto. So you already know how many Canadian fans you guys have, right? Aww. There's a lot. There's, yeah. I mean, yeah, I see it online. Me too. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Well, seeing how it's set there and shot here, I mean, come on, hello. But uh, congratulations, season eleven. Honestly, I can't even believe it. I'm sure you guys can't believe it. Erin, you know, by now it's probably like going on set and putting on a comfortable set of slippers. I mean, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know that the slippers are that comfortable, but yes, I see the point that you're making. It is, uh, it feels like, it feels like returning to, I guess I won't say the first day of school. It's more like summer camp because I'm really excited to get back every year. It's yeah. such a beautiful place to film and the people are amazing. It really is like a family on our show. And um, yeah, it's 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 been over a decade of yeah. When Calls the Heart. And with yeah. it, it takes place all in one all in one studio. Yes. So you know, you really just kind of move in for the five months we shoot, which, you know, we don't have to travel around. So yeah, it is. I mean, yeah. we don't actually live there when Kevin says we move in. I live there. I live in the barn. <laughs> yeah. He has a cot yeah, set yeah, somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, he lives with the horses and whatever, of course, you know, but right. yeah, but yeah. Kevin, I want to ask you because go back to your first day on set and then you're there and you're working with this fantastic cast and everybody's getting along. When was the moment you realized that you were working on something extremely special here? Um, do you know what it was? I mean, I mean, coming on set, it was fantastic. And how warm and, and friendly and open everybody was, um, you know, it, it was just a dream. But when I knew how big this show was, was when I was invited to my first uh, Hardy's family reunion, which is something, you know, they they do every year. It's like a convention, basically, for a lot of the fans to kind of come in. And um, I remember walking out and I had just joined the show. You know, I didn't really know too many people. And and I there don't was, think they'd seen any I mean, episodes. No, I think they right? just like played Mountain Nathan walking down the street right. in his like first episode. Yeah. And I came out to like this sea of of people um all from all over the world, you know, like Australia and Europe and and then Canada and America, all all, all you know, everywhere. <laughs> and um it just kind of I was I was taken back by how much this show means to so many people around the world. Um, yeah. you know, I knew I was part of something special. Yeah. And, yeah. Beautiful answer. Thank you. I appreciate that. It was beautiful. Very, very heartwarming. Well, you know, um, Aaron, uh, you know, I, I love where yeah. Elizabeth is going this season. Um, she seems like a new woman to me, you know, beautiful haircut, yeah. by the way, you look fabulous. Um, Thank you. But Thank you. just not just the haircut I'm teasing, but I'm just saying like, just her demeanor, everything about her, she's got this new sensibility about her, something that I'm, I'm seeing in the character. When you get your scripts, you know, um, it's important, obviously, to keep it fresh. You want to give the audience, you know, something new. How excited were you to go into this season to see where she was going? I was very excited. It feels like the writers give me gifts every season of something new for Elizabeth to, to chew on or work through or transform into. And it felt like this season was going to be a season of self-discovery joy love like so many positive things sure she had that brief interruption with higgins um which was a little dicey and dramatic but but yeah, yeah. it's been a it's been very joyful and um nice to get to see elizabeth in in such a positive state i think that's been really nice yeah okay so um kevin let, let's just talk about nathan and elizabeth please let's because just, hello but, we have to um i again love where they're going because they're really coming from a sense of a real true friendship like it's more of a mature relationship i think right mm -hmm. and you yes. know I, yeah. the, the fact that the two of you are by now probably besties unless you fake you're really good actors and you're Ooh. faking it this is the first time she's talked to me actually today so get out of here yes we have a lovely friendship okay that has to help big time when you're playing these roles especially now where it's going can you talk about that your chemistry together and your friendship Oh no! <laughs> Spotlight. Oh no! Um, Spill the beans. I do think. <laughs> I do think just as an actor in general, you know, you you really require a lot of trust from your from your partner. Um, yeah. And then you know, our relationship as friends and such good friends is only you know deep in that trust. And I feel comfortable, you know, trying different things mm -hmm. and 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 exploring with these characters. And 
Yeah, it's, it's only enhanced the relationship that we see on screen of, with Nathan and Elizabeth. Um, yeah, and like you said as well, those two characters, anything, you know, moving now into a world of romance Ooh. Um, is, is only heightened because it was built on such a solid foundation of friendship and, you know, and trust that those two characters have built in the last five seasons with each other. So you're, you're right. Like, it's it's just... It's a solid foundation to build a, a romantic story on, which strengthens it. Yeah, and Aaron, for you, what's it like to have a scene partner that you can trust so much? Honestly, like the that's best. a gift. It's a huge gift. It makes a big difference. I mean, I can think back to our very first chemistry read. I think Kevin, you were the first person that I read with. Really? Uh, I thought it was the last. Both. First and last. Yeah, <laughs> I read with Kevin on a, a situation similar to this. It was sort of a Zoom thing. And yeah. then we read together. Oh, yeah, that was weird. But I don't know if you remember this. When we first read together on that Zoom, I was really nervous. I felt a lot of pressure. Obviously, we just lost my previous co-star on the show and wanted to make sure that we got it right. And I checked in with Kevin, how are you doing? And he said, fine. And he asked me how I was doing. And I said, quite nervous. And he was the one putting my mind at ease. Yeah. And it feels like in so many ways, Kevin does that for me throughout our days on set. He puts me at ease. And I think that comes from knowing that if I leap, he's going to catch me. And, and that goes both ways. Yeah. Yeah. It's lovely. It's lovely to watch it. You feel it. You feel it. It's really, um, I'm hoping that you guys, I, I I want to ask about Mamie and how she's doing. Uh, I understand that she's doing okay. Can you give us a little bit of an update on her? And we're all we're all just pulling for her big time. Well, thank you so much. Um, yeah, I mean, it, out of respect for the family's privacy, we won't say too much, but we appreciate you asking. And she is on the mend, and we're just we're really hoping for a very quick recovery for her. She's an incredible young yeah. lady, and. Um, yeah, we're really rooting for her. Good Thank stuff. You. Okay, good, good. We're, just, we're, we're all concerned here. We're, we're we're all rooting for her as well. Okay, and just to wrap it up, um, you know, like you know, like you say, the fans are incredible. Like honestly, the Hardys, like they really are supportive. They love you guys so much. Um, Kevin, what's the best fan story you can give me that when someone's Ooh. come up to you and been really, really touched by your performance or the story or your relationship, whatever? Yeah, I mean. I don't know about the best. I, I think, like you said, I'm just always overwhelmed anytime, you know, somebody comes up and says what you have done has moved me or inspired me or anything like that. I, you know, I, okay, so this is, <laughs> anytime somebody comes up and says something like that is just, you know, it, incredible. I have a story. It's with a different show I was doing. Okay. Um, but I, but I, right, kind of like right, Aaron. Okay, fair. It's just basically somebody came up and they were like, "Oh, you're on this show," and you know, I, I, I know, um, you know, I, I know you from this. And I said, "Oh, thank you, you know so much." And I said, "Wow, you really caught up," because she was a younger, younger woman. Um, and there's many seasons of this show, and I was like, "Wow, you've really caught up." And she's like, "Well, yeah, I watched you guys a lot while my dad was in the hospital, mm -hmm. and I've like you guys. That cast became my family, mm -hmm. and." When I meet anybody, especially the Hardys, I, I feel like a lot of the cast has become family to a lot of this, a lot, a lot of the fans. Yeah. Um, so I'm just aware of how how meaningful a lot of these characters can be to people. So when they come up and they ask for a picture or they say, you know, thank you so much or we love you guys, like it, it all means the world to me. And I love it all, I guess yeah. is, is what I'm trying to say. Well, totally. Yeah, well, we love you guys, and we just thank you for your continued success on this fantastic show, and just listen, you know, could be another 10 years. Who knows where this is going to go, right? Let's do it. Thank <laughs> you so much for the support. <laughs> oh, my pleasure. Best to you guys. Thank you for everything that you give us, and your fans love you here in Canada. Thank you, and have a great rest of your day. Appreciate your time today. Thank you. Thank you so, thank much. You so much. Okay, bye, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. bye. Thanks, Bonnie. We're clear. Hey.